on it already. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, sweetheart, I hope you have. Come, go. Let me just put it on. No, no, on the other side. Hello there. Uh, what for? Are you going to be here tonight? Uh, possibly so. And how long for? Maybe the whole night. What, is there an issue with the van? No. Nope. Tell me why you're not displaying the registration plate. Seventeenth of July. This year. Which chief constable have you informed? I've informed forty-four. Sorry, I've informed twenty-six of the forty-four constabularies of the United Kingdom. Mr. Cunningham, sir, did you did you write to the thing? Yes. So what I'm basically saying, gentlemen, this is uh, out of your jurisdiction. <laughs> it, it's out of your jurisdiction and the. Under the understanding that, um, how could I say, if you now accept what's called voluntary acceptance of responsibility from your actions here on in, okay, under a, a most uh, a valid case under what's called Headley, Byrne and Heller in, I think, 1873, there are a series of um, common law procedures that I'll initiate against you as individuals. That means that your badge of rank or your uniform is of no no protection whatsoever. Those charges will reverse or, or re, um, revolve around uh, breach of duty of care towards me, negligent misstatement of the law, yeah. abuse of process, abuse of my inalienable rights. They will then run through from... Um, malicious prosecution after extensive warning to the contrary, um, intentional infliction of emotional distress and the tort of deceit. Okay. So it's either you call this in now to your chief constable and then he will give you uh, uh, um, probably a recommendation of how to proceed or from here on in I notice or give you full and fair warning that these fee schedules will be imposed upon you in the High Court of the Queen's Bench Division and that could mean the forfeiture of either your pay or any other privileges okay. you have. You do realise there's no sense not to display a registration paper on the vehicle though, don't you? I'm not saying any more to you. Read that and call it in. Do you know a guy called Simon Brownsword? Uh, I do, yes. Maybe you want to have a word with Simon Brownsword? He's not on duty at the moment. Okay. So, uh, well, maybe if this I goes on a little bit longer... If, before, take yeah, if this goes on a little bit longer, then you'll be... Or your Chief Constable will be phoning the Attorney General or Sir Kenneth Clark, Sorry, the Lord High Chancellor. Pardon? What goes on a bit longer? No, I mean, if we carry on with I'm, our... I'm reading, I'm no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our <laughs> discussion. So, never, as far as I'm concerned well, now, our discussion is... I've never heard of them cases. Is 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 can over. Explain why we've been called here, then. You can do whatever you want, sir. Yeah. Okay. We've been called by one of the things who's got responsibility for this estate. Okay. To say that this vehicle's parked on here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not. Okay. It's, it's public access, but it's not the parking up over yeah. that estate. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You haven't. Okay. His concern is. How long are you going to be here? Mm -hmm. Are you intending to, to set up a residence here? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to be moving on in the morning? Okay, well let's just say 
for now, for your benefit, thank you, gentlemen. Um, I'll be moving on in the morning. Just to qualify it, this land belongs to the borough and the corporation of Newcastle and the Line. Borough and corporation. That means it's a corporate entity under any sort of law, statute law or common. Then it's public access, so it's public land. It's actually owned by um, the Burgesses, there's 24 of them that have a trust. They own places like Morrison's, Morrison's Car Park, the, uh, comprehensive areas of land here. So it's public land. So I'm invoking my right as a free man under common law to park where I wish and travel where I wish. In addition to that, if we wanted to play the statute one, I'd suggest you invoke then a section 21 under the Landlord and Tenant Act mm -hmm. to have us evicted from here, but that will have to go through due process through the courts. You have to be committing a trespass offence. Okay, well, we're not actually... We're not trespassing. We're not trespassing. The question I put to you was how long are you planning to stay here? Probably till tomorrow morning when we move off. Right. And then the next... The other question I asked... Yeah. I okay. Is why are you not displaying a registration plate for your vehicle? Because this vehicle is my property. It does not belong to the corporation known as the DVLA. Simon C, or TSE, has been informed that he was illegally registering this vehicle and also informing other um, parties, corporate entities, that are not sui jurish flesh and blood individuals, therefore have no right under common law, of my previous plated whereabouts. So Mr. C, the Chief Executive, and the Deputy Transport Minister, or the Transport Minister, were informed that this vehicle was being deregistered, right. but re-recorded as me, Peter of England, also family name, uh, Peter of England, um, was being um, uh, recorded in my name. So that's why there's no registration plate. There'll be no registration plate. Okay, right. Well then, there's nothing more to be said. I don't need a license to drive on the road. It's my free right under the common law to drive my vehicle as long as I'm not engaging in commerce on a public highway. Now, if you gentlemen would like to wait for me to pull off here tomorrow morning... I'm not going to be staying here all night. <laughs> no, but maybe one of your colleagues would like I to. I don't think that's going to happen. Then we'd have a freer and fairer run-in. But at the moment, unfortunately, you are batting on a very, very poor wicket because you've got no... You can't... You, even, if, even if it wasn't taxed and wasn't displaying tax, which it isn't, without the plates on... Um, without insurance, you still can't do anything because I'm not on the public highway. You are on public land. Which public is access area, land. And that forms part of the highway. Anywhere, to, anywhere that people have access to public access okay. forms part of the highway. Okay, okay well, I've... What, what, what we're going to do is, is I've just spoke to a, a supervisor, so yeah. I'm going to gonna pop it to in a, in a second. Excellent. I, I, I won't profess, I don't know all about these laws and no. subjects, and I'm not going to say... Of course you don't. ...what laws you breach and things like that. We'll speak to the supervisor and then uh, we'll proceed from there. Excellent. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll yeah, be no speaking to you in a moment. All right. Thank you.